Hey, yo, uh, what up? Hello, welcome back. It's great to see everybody again. Um, you guys, today we are finishing off section 13.3 in your book. Uh, we got through most of it last class talking about slope machines and how to find certain slopes at certain points using derivatives. Uh, but today we're going to actually talk about the equations of lines. So I think uh, the formal title is equations of tangents and normals, but I'm going to say, hey, remember y equals mx plus b? We're going to use it a lot today. <laughs> okay, before we get into the actual uh, mud of how you find like certain things with certain examples, like you guys need to understand the big picture about why we're doing certain steps. Because every year that I teach this, students are always know the individual steps super well, but they get confused about why they do them at certain times. So let's say you had some curve, like, you know, this. This is your f of x. Um, at a certain point on that curve, maybe we'll go green right here, um, you can find a tangent that goes through that point. So remember, a tangent line is just a line that... Yeah, actual line. Boom. Getting fancy, y'all. Um, that goes through the point at that curve. Now that point on the curve is going to have an x and a y that are part of the function f of x, but also a point that's on this line. And the equation of this line is sum y equals mx plus b. Um, the m part of it right here um, that we've been using uh, derivatives to find. This is all about using the slope machine to find this. So you can use the derivative to find the slope of this line right here at a certain point, which is awesome. Um, at certain points in these problems, we're going to be like plugging x values into the original equation um, to be able to figure out like what this point is. And I think that part throws people because they're like, wait, when do I plug it into the derivative? When do I plug it into the um, into the, the original equation, the OG? So uh, just kind of in general, um, the steps can be something like this. One find the x, y on the curve. Two, use slope machine, or I should say derivative, huh? Use derivative to find slope. And then three, use point and slope to get a y equals mx plus b. Okay. Um, let's do the first example. Here we go. So the first example says, uh, find the equation of a tangent line. Uh, to this function, f of x is equal to negative 2x cubed plus 2x. And then this part says at x equals 2. Okay, first step. Uh, we're going to take um, this x equals 2 part and feed it into the function to figure out what coordinate the tangent is going to go through. So, nothing to do with derivatives. I'm just going to do f of 2 is equal to negative 2, 2 cubed plus 2 times 2. So, all I did was I replaced, uh, in the original equation, the x's with 2. Haven't done a derivative. I'm just figuring out what the y value is going to be associated with the 2 on the curve. Um, crunch this out. Let me see. 2 cubed is 8. Negative 2 is negative 16 plus 4, which is negative 12. 
So what this means is that um, 2, negative 12 is on the curve. But also that's the point that the tangent's going to go through. So that's the point that's on the tangent and the curve. Now, let's use a derivative to find the slope of that tangent. So the derivative, do the old pop and drop, that's negative 6x squared plus 2. Now, we want to know the slope of the tangent at x equals 2, this guy right here. So we need to feed 2 into our derivative function to figure out what the slope is going to be at that point. Uh, 2 squared is 4 times negative 6 is negative 24, so that's negative 22. So once again, this is the slope of the tangent. All right, we got the slope. We got a point that it goes through. So then this is when it goes back to like an AGS1 or an Algebra 1 style thing where we're going to use the fact that this is the point that it goes through and this is the slope that it has. So let's go orange. Um, we know our tangent has an equation that's y equals mx plus b. We know that this is the m. So, uh, so far, if we replace the m, you get y equals negative 22x plus b. But we don't know the y-intercept. So what we're going to do is take this guy right here and plug it into this guy to figure out what the b value is. So you replace the y with negative 12. The slope is still negative 22. The x gets replaced with 2 and we don't know what the b value is. So you get negative 12 is equal to negative 44 plus b. And then add 44 to both sides, and you get 32. So 32 is equal to b. Now, that means we can bring it all together for one final answer where the slope uh, so the directions, once again, find the equation of a tangent line to this curve at this point. We know the slope. We know the y-intercept. Let's put it all together. y equals 22x plus 32. Final answer. Um, so in your homework assignment, there's going to be a bunch of like find the equation of the tangent type stuff. And that's really the general process. Find the point that the tangent goes through that's on the curve. Uh, pop a derivative and use that to find the slope of the tangent and then plug in the point and the slope in y equals mx plus b to find your y-intercept. You're good to go. Now, the other thing they're going to ask you about on your homework is they're going to say find the equation of a normal. Um, here's what a normal is. If you have a curve, let's do a little parabola. Oof, started off good. You know, it's not my fault. It was the edge of the iPad. Let's do it again. Better. So this is your, you know, your y equals f of x. It's some equation, but we don't really care. Um, let's say that there's a point on the curve, like here-ish. And then you can have an equation of a tangent that goes through there, like... And pretend that goes through... So this is your tangent. It barely touches the curve at one point. Now, a normal is if you go completely perpendicular to the tangent. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, well, that's pretty good, pretty close. Um, if this is a 90 degree angle here and here, then this line through that point is called the normal. So it's like the opposite of a tangent, if you want to think of it that way. It's perpendicular to the tangent. Um, just a reminder that if the slope of the tangent, let's say that the slope was a over b for this guy, um, the perpendicular slope is going to be negative b over a. 
Um, so if you know the slope of the tangent, just turn it upside down and put a negative on it or take the negative off. It's the negative off opposite upside down E version. So um, I think the next question is very similar to the last one because we're still using the same equation and the same uh, spot. So this example is um, find the equation of the normal. to f of x equals negative 2x cubed plus 2x at x equals 2. So, you guys, that's the same equation from the previous example. Um, so we can save ourselves some time because we already know the point that it goes through. So the point that it goes through is... 2, negative 12. And we know the slope of the tangent is negative 22 at that point. So if you had already done your derivative, let's say, here, I'll just do it real quick. F prime of x equals negative 6, x squared plus 2. And then you plug in the point 2, which is here. They want you to know at point 2 um, that this equals negative 22. Now, this slope right here is the slope of the tangent. So, to get the slope of the normal, you need to turn that number upside down and take the negative off of it. One, negative one. No, we t no negative. It turns positive. So this is the slope of the normal. Now, the normal is still going to be a y equals mx plus b. And we know that the m is 1 22nd. So y equals 1 over 22x plus b. And we need to figure out the y-intercept. Uh, but it's basically the same process from the previous problem where um, you're going to take the point to negative 12 and plug it in here and here to be able to solve for your b. So negative 12 is equal to 1 over 22 times 2 plus b. 2 goes into 22 11 times, so we get negative 12 is equal to 1 11th plus b. Now, I don't like fractions, so I'm going to blast everything with an 11 to uh, cancel out this guy right here and make it a big one. So uh, 12 times 11 is negative 132. And then plus 1 plus 11b. Subtract 1 from both sides, you get negative 133 equal to 11b. I'm guessing 133 is not divisible by 11. I should know that, shouldn't I? It's not. It's, it can't be. Yeah, it's not. So um, 133 divided by 11 can't be reduced because 11 is a prime. Oof, what an awful number. Is that really how they do it in the book? Oh, they do a stupid form. Yeah. Okay, so um, your y-intercept is negative 133 over 11 is equal to b. So our final answer here is uh, the equation of the normal. y equals, the slope is 122nd, x, and then minus 133 over 11. You would not want to round that decimal. Try to keep things uh, exact and fractional in this unit. Yeah, that's it, you guys. That's 13.3. Uh, just a heads up, in case you didn't see the Canvas announcement, we're going to have two lessons this week, and then have a we're going to stop and have a little test next Monday on derivatives. It's a fresh learning target score, big chance for your grades to change. Um, I know that this is hard to do all this stuff over the Internet, especially without you know being able to ask me questions on the spot. So um, just know that, it, like, that I'm going to try to make that test appropriate to the level of learning we've been doing, and, yeah, it should be fun.